Chihi Slug. I am Chihiro. So if you are new to my channel, I warmly welcome you to Chihi Slug and please do join Chihi Slug by subscribing to my channel so that we could be a huge family one day and also make sure that you press the bell button next to the subscription button so that you will never miss a video of mine that I am uploading in the future which are going to be super amazing and exciting videos that you would definitely enjoy and also guys I have to tell you if you have already been a part of my channel I thank you so so much and also guys if you do want to you know get a shout out in my videos make sure you comment down below if after you subscribe to my channel saying that you are part of cheese world and that you have already um subscribed to my channel also make sure you like this video at the end of this video if you did enjoy it let's see um so guys for today's video i am going to show you my degrees first semester first projects second module yeah if i got that right so we had three modules. One is the one that I one is the one that actually showed the portfolio. If you haven't watched that video, the link to it is in the description box below. So the second module is the part where we make an actual garment, where we make our technical process garment. I mean, what? Technical. <laughs> where we make our technical process journals. Uh, it is quite fun and it's also quite stressful because it's like our first ever time making garment. Like what? We have never actually everyone probably like some of them had done courses on how to stitch stuff but you know we have amazing lectures in the Academy of Design so they actually do everything amazingly like teach us everything how to do it perfectly so I mean it wasn't you know that bad I mean like, you know it's our first time doing a garment and having to do it like within a few you know with a small time period it was that was like quite stressful but you know the everything was amazing because of the amazing lecture we had to do this module um anyways guys i'm going to show you the module this is like the second module and also to mention the third module is like our english like to improve our english we write essays reports and yeah stuff like that i don't think that's really fun so yeah i don't know if i should show it or not because my essay is like no no it's not not good at all but i did get a good mark but it's not good at all so i'm not like <laughs> so i don't know if you guys want to want me to read the uh essay that i wrote which is like thousand words it's a report let me know but it's not fun at all i'm telling you so today i'm actually showing you the module the second module which is super fun super amazing this is like where uh, you know fashion designing actual work goes into where you design your shirt from like a basic normal shirt uh, pattern into like your designer shirt so i am going to show you first of all i'm going to show you the first few steps that we did in our semester the class um so it was like step by step that we were taught, taught how to do the pattern making everything was done by ourselves with help with our lecture but you know most of the things were supposed to be done by us so we did it by ourselves which was so amazing like doing everything for yourself at the first time like for your first time and when your shirt or whatever thing you do it for the first time comes out great you are like the feeling that you get that excitement is just <sighs> cannot be mentioned so yeah i'm going to show you from the uh top to bottom so stay tuned now i will show you how we started to do the pattern making and this is my pattern making book <laughs>
So as you saw in that book, we were taught how to make miniature patterns. It was just super amazing. Like we, in that graph book, one box was taken as one centimeter. So uh, it's all these blocks were drawn in small scales. That's how we were taught at first so that it's easier and we can understand um, before we do large scale patterns. So after this point, we had to make our large scale uh, patterns and we had to show it to our lecture because we were marked according to it. And also we were given patterns for us to make uh, our technical shirt. So I did make the technical shirt, even my uh, classmates did. Uh, first of all, we had to actually make the normal, the normal um, original shirt, which we had to do it with toil fabric, um, also known as grey cloth. So um, this is the shirt that I actually did. So this is the one. I'm not sure if you can really see. Like this is the collar, this is the sleeve, and this is like where the cuff is, and this is the back with the pleat in the middle and darts in the sides and also there's uh, the pocket in the front obviously okay so this was the actual first ever garment that we had to stitch and we were accompanied um, by our lectures but most of it was done by us which was quite exciting and amazing but also really 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 tricky how to do this stitching it's like some places are super hard to do it but you know if you get the hang of it it's easy but you know since it's our first time all of us did face lots of problems problems oh gosh um so yeah this was the toil shirt that i actually made so we had to have so after we do this, we we like while we were doing this, we were supposed to take pictures of each and every step, like the cutting, the stitching, everything, the ironing, everything. So we had to make a, a booklet for that. So I'm going to show you the booklet that I actually created for this shirt right now. <music> that before we uh, actually did the whole shirt um, you, if you saw there were like bits and pieces of stitching like the pocket the cuff and you know those interesting components of the uh, shirt was previously taught us talked to us before we even did the toil shirt so that's how we were taught um, and we had to put the components in the file like the booklet and that is how um, in a fashion school how this is done we make a TPJ so this is the technical process journal for the toil shirt that we made so basically we had to submit this like in the mid of the semester like and we were uh, given a mark to it I don't know if it does um, like affect the grades of our um, final mark like in a final grade um, but uh, we were told if we do fail this uh, test the the stitching um, we, we are supposed to do this again so hopefully I no one no one failed hopefully no one no one failed everyone did a good job so we were we, we moved on to the next project so this is like the most trickiest project um, because this was like 
our first year project so as soon as we finished our actual shirt we had to move on to making our designer shirt which was a black on black shirt so everything has to be black but first of all before we do the actual black on black shirt we had to sketch we had to look at you know those runaway collections get ideas inspirations out of you know um things uh, like out of garments so that we could combine most of those in interesting components into one and make it into an an amazing beautiful shirt so that's what we had to do first before uh, our black on black shirt was supposed to be stitched now after we designed it we was uh, supposed to do a sample um, of this shirt how, how the fit would look like how the volume would look like with toil fabric i'm going to show it to you right now so this is the sample that i actually did so this is the sleeve if you can see it's pleated there's a small maggie sleeve over here we didn't we weren't supposed to do the components like you know the collar and all them so the collar is not there in this shirt because we were you know we had to um add in the like you know the extra components that we're actually adding for the shirt so this is how the front looks like basically it's like and the back looks like this this smoking if you can see that's how it looks like oh so, yeah that was the toil sample and you guys this video is super long I have a lot more to talk about so if you do want to see how my final final back on back shirt turned out make sure you stay tuned until next week because I'm going to upload that video next week and stay tuned don't miss that video because it's super interesting and i want to show the fashion show that we had it was just amazing my shirt was featured uh in that uh fashion show and it was just a great experience because your first ever garment being shown in a fashion show was like amazing anyways guys um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and also do not forget to press the bell button so that you won't miss any exciting videos that I'm going to upload ahead of me in the future. Um, and also, please don't miss the part 2 of this video which will be uploaded next Monday. And also, I up upload videos every single Monday so that, you know, just stay tuned. Don't miss any of my videos. I love you all. Peace and thank you guys for watching bye